child who's been on a waiting list for six months is feeling uncomfortable, is often not able to hear in school or in a classroom. And so the simple surgery can change a child's life overnight. So the Weekend Waiting List is a project where staff come in on a Saturday and they address the waiting list issue that's facing the hospital where simple surgeries are not addressed during the week. There's not enough space on the emergency list and so what happens on an elective list is it's like this child really needs to be operated on today. They're having to wait hours and hours and hours on the emergency theatre. We're going to have to sacrifice our elective list and so once again, someone who's been waiting gets placed yet back again on the list. So by having this list, it really does make a big difference to this hospital. So we have a really special relationship with Sea Harvest. It goes back as far as 2011. And it really is a mutually beneficial relationship and a really good example of a public-private partnership. See, I was partnered with the Children's Trust in 2011 because firstly we believe that we need to do good in the communities in which we operate. Now, with the CRS Foundation, most of our work was based in the Saldana Bay area, where we have our operational base. But our products are sold nationally in over 2,000 stores. And we wanted a way to mobilize those consumers and get them involved also in a community project. And this was a perfect partnership. We do really depend on the waiting list initiative to try and reduce that waiting time so that patients are not having to wait very long for the operations. And they are then less likely to come back due to complications because they've been placed on this waiting list. So the state does, is not able to support the project because it's an additional project, it's an additional service. So it exists and children benefit from these surgeries as a result of corporate sponsorship. In 2011, the first project that we participated in was the Surgical Skills Training Center. This was the first of its kind in Sub-Saharan Africa to offer training in pediatric endoscopic surgery. In 2012, we sponsored the B2 Medical Ward, and this contribution saw us able to contribute significantly to improving the care of many children with poverty-related diseases. The radiology upgrade that we sponsored in 2013 contributed to the development and equipping of a new radiology complex, which of course was pivotal to diagnosing young patients. The Child Safe and Research Educational Center that we sponsored in 2014 was part of a broader project which focused on improving child safety and injury prevention. In 2015, we first got involved in the Weekend Waiting List Initiative to service high volume surgeries for children. And in 2016 and 2017, we participated in the ICU upgrade, which contributed to the expansion of the existing ICU unit. And we also invested in state-of-the-art medical equipment, which enhanced the care of young patients at the hospital. If you walk into the hospital, you see the difference that Sea Harvest and other corporate partners like Sea Harvest has done. As a parent, it's impossible to walk through the hospital and not be really deeply touched. The way that the hospital is designed to care for the family as a unit, it is amazing to see. The staff is friendly, they do the correct operations, they do everything right. Because I've experienced that with my own child. If you want to get involved with the work that the hospital is doing, participate in the Kids for Kids campaign. Buy the Sea Harvest products during the time of the campaign, but maybe go beyond that. Perhaps you can sponsor an individual surgery. Perhaps you can get a few people together to, to sponsor an individual surgery. Visit the hospital website, visit the trust website, and visit the hospital. You know, come and see what the work that they do. It is life-changing. Mm -hmm.